When it comes to infectious diseases, Haiti has among the highest rates in the Americas. So can housing be used in the fight, among other tools, against infection? A UK charity known as Archive Architecture for Health in Vulnerable Environments has launched a global design competition to come up with healthy houses for Haiti. Houses that can be built, say, to minimize the transmission of airborne diseases like TB. Ivani Campbell was at the launch in London. I'm now with Peter Williams. And Peter, you are with Archive, and it's Archive who are the charity that's actually launching this project to find these, I keep calling them healthy housing. Mm. You tell me a little bit more about what this project is. This project, Ke Sante Nanaiti, that literally translates, it's the, the Haitian Creole for housing and health in, in Haiti. And in this case, we're looking specifically at the way in which one can modify the built environment, housing specifically, to actually combat disease transmission, in this case, TB. Archive believes that to date, the link between housing conditions and health have been largely ignored. It's an initiative which is also fully supported by health professionals. I think the, the link between health facilities and households and communities would be an, an important one. Diane Weil is a TB specialist working with the World Health Organization. What can we learn from the household setting to bring into the health facility setting and vice versa? Um, from our side, our biggest concern is that we have a worldwide pandemic of tuberculosis continuing. And in places like Haiti, we really need to take all paths, both working on public health, working on development initiatives such as this housing effort, and better tools to prevent transmission of disease. What will a healthy house look like? Dr. Ken Yang is a renowned ecological architect, and he will be one of the judges. Looking at the wind direction and designing the, the external surfaces of the building, the roofs and the walls, can help enhance the natural ventilation through the building. And once you enhance the natural ventilation, you increase the you know, level of coolness, you, you reduce the need to have any mechanical means to cool, and, and you create a better quality of life for people inside the building. Still unsure? Well, you won't have too long to find out, as Archive believes the homes will be ready for occupancy by next July. Ivan Lee Campbell reporting there.